So as soon as you look at the question where the denominator is some constant, okay, like over here three, and there is a plus over here, which means that there is there's a binomial, okay. So in this particular question, take LCM throughout the equation first. Your step number one should be LCM of the whole equation of the equation. Now, as you can see, this denominator is one. This denominator is one. If there was some other denominator, like two or three or six, some some other number, I would have taken LCM of all the equation. Is that thing clear? Now, since over here the LCM is easy, which is three, yes or no? So therefore, LCM for my question is three. So step number one is find LCM, which I have taken. Step number two is multiply. The equation by LC is that thing clear? So what I'm going to do? I'm going to multiply this whole equation by three. Whole equation, not this left side, not this right side, both the sides. Okay, let's try to do that. So two x into three will give me quickly tell me six x. Six x. Now x uh, upon three multiplied by three x. x. If somebody is getting confused, that person can write like this. Get the cancellation. Understood this thing? So what I'm getting six x plus x equals to twenty four. Clear? Now what is going to happen over here? 6x plus x? 7x. 7x equals to 24. After that, I guess it's super easy. So x equals to 24 upon 7. What will be the answer? Help me out. Answer something like this. Uh, 3, 3 by 7? 3, 3 by 7? Yes, yes or no? Quickly copy this thing. So as you can see, over here, we have denominator as numbers. Okay. So we will be following the same procedure what we did earlier. LCM on both the sides. Okay, and multiply the LCM the way we did the previous question. Okay, now, but procedure you guys are doing a little bit long. Then of just pay attention. What is the LCM of this question? Yeah. LCM is twelve. Okay, so what I'm going to do? Multiply the whole equation by twelve. Now, how to write? Just see how I'm going to write. X upon two, multiply by twelve outside. Twelve x upon three, twelve seven, twelve x upon four. Can you see the procedure? Now, earlier what you were doing, you were taking LCM. Literally, you were taking LCM and making the denominator same. But I'm not saying that. I'm saying step number one, take LCM. Step number two, multiply the whole equation by the LCM, which is 12 in my case. Can you see the next step what I did? Now, why I'm doing that step? So what will happen? It will cancel out. This will give me six. This will give me four. And I'm telling you it will get canceled out because it's an LCM. It will automatically get canceled. And this will give me three. Now, in the next line, what I'm going to do, just rewrite this thing. Six, six plus four X equals to seven into four, uh, 84 plus three X. Can you see the amount of working is reduced? Is this thing clear? Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add this thing and I'm going to subtract this thing. Why subtract? Because if I shift to the other side, it will subtract. So six plus four is 10 minus three is seven X equals to 84. So X equals to 84 upon seven X equals to 12. Is this thing clear? Procedure is clear. So quickly copy this thing. So again, in this particular question, denominator is five always. Can you see? So what is the LCM? LCM is 5, not 10. Understood? So we'll multiply each term by 5. So can you see? One second. I can't see right now. Yeah, 4 by 5 multiplied by 5 minus 5 multiplied by x. 5 multiplied by 3 by 5. Is this thing clear? As I told you, multiply each term by 5. I'm taking a pause over here. You guys need to finish. So what will happen over here? 5, 5 getting cancelled. 4 minus 5x. 5, 5 getting cancelled. 3. I'll shift this 4 to the other side. What will happen? 3 minus 4. 3 minus 4. Can you see that 4 is positive? Peter? 4 is positive. Minus 5x is there. So that is the very common mistake students do. Minus 5x is there. So what will happen over here? Minus 1. Minus 5x. I'll just shift this minus 5 to the other side. It will minus 1 upon minus 5. X answer is 1 upon 5. Okay. But the, uh, uh, over here, they won't give you MCQ questions. Just ignore the MCQ part. Questions will be coming like this only. Is this question clear? Let's move on to the next type of question. So I guess you guys will be able to do it now. Or let's do one last. Okay, do this question. The same procedure. LCM is four. So we'll multiply each number by four. So two x multiplied by four. Four three by two. Four five x. Four three by four. Procedure is clear. Step number one LCM. Step number two multiply by four. So here I will be getting eight x. I will be getting two. So two into three is six minus six. 5 into 4, 20x. 4 and 4 getting answer, 3. Yeah. So the whole procedure is to remove the denominator. And my denominator is done. I'll just shift x to one side. So 20x to one side and 6 to another side. I always like to shift to the left-hand side, x, and uh, numbers to the constants to the right-hand side. That's my standard procedure. So that my students don't get confused every time they watch my video. OK. So 8x minus 20x will give me what? Very good. Negative 12x. And here I'll be getting 9. OK. 
Now, when I'll be shifting to the other side, it will be x equals to 9 upon negative 12. So we'll reduce it 3 times 3, 3 times 4. So my x answer would be negative 3 by 4. We don't write negative in the denominator. So option B. Please check your answers. Whatever was a mistake. So I will follow the same procedure. What is the LCM? Help me out. 6. 6 because denominator is 1. I'll multiply both sides by 6. See how I'm writing. Because next question, what I'm going to do will require that understanding. Let me show you the next question first. A dreadful question. So I'm going to follow the same procedure which I'm teaching right now. So what I taught you, each term should be multiplied by 6. So over here, 5x minus 12 upon 6 is one term. Because it's one fraction. So multiplying by 6 equals to 6 multiplied by 3. Is this thing clear? That is clear. Now the 6 and 6 didn't cancel. I'll be getting 5x minus 12 equals to 18. Somebody would have done it cross multiplication. It is absolutely fine, but it is not good with the method which I teach. Is that thing clear? So 5x equals to 18 plus 12 x equals to 20, 30 by 5. So x value is what? Six. Six. Okay, without wasting any more time. Super, super important question. This thing. Now let me see how much uh, you're able to apply the method which I have got. So it is not that difficult. Please do this question right now. Check your steps. So what is LCM? Again, 6. LCM is 6. So, so LCM is 6 over here. So we'll multiply the whole equation by 6. So x minus 2 upon 3, this getting multiplied by 6. x minus 3 upon 2 getting multiplied by 6 equals to 6 multiplied by 6. Clear? Yeah. Is the first step clear? Yeah? Yes. Please look at this side. This is 2. This is 3. So I'll just multiply this x minus 2 by 2. What will I get? What will I get? x into 2 is 2x. Minus 2 into 2 is 4. Clear? Yeah? Now, minus 3 into x is minus 3x. Minus 3 into minus 3 is plus 9. How many of you did this? Correct. Sure. It should be plus 9, not minus 9. Please circle your answer. If you have done minus 9, please circle your answer. Is this thing clear? Yeah. Plus 9 is fine. Equals to 36. Most common mistake. Now, over here, we have 2x and minus 3x. What will we get? 2x minus 3x. What will we get? Minus 1x. That is minus x. 2 minus 3 is minus. Understood? Minus 1x. Now, over here, minus 4 plus 9. What will I get? Plus 5. Please say property. Plus 5. 36, keep minus x like this, 36 minus 5, minus x equals to 31. So my x value is minus 31. I'll just shift this minus to the other side. How many of you got the question? So what is it? What is the LCM of this question? Again, LCM is 6. So LCM in this particular question is 6 once again. So multiply each term by 6. So 6m minus 6 m minus 1 by 2, 6, 1, 6, m minus 2 by 3. Clear? This step. So this will give me 6m, 3 over here, minus 3m plus 3. Why plus 3? Minus 3 minus 1 is plus 3. Equals to 6. This will give me 2. So minus 2m and plus 4. Let me just simplify these two numbers. 6 minus 3 plus 2. Isn't it plus 2? Because if I shift it to the other side, plus 2. 6 minus 3 is 3, plus 2 is 5m. And on the right hand side, 6 plus 4 is 10. 10 minus 3 will give me 7. So m value is 7 upon 5. So this is the answer. How many of you got the correct answer? 